In this video we are going to look at the Equate Compiler Directive. After this video you should be able to use the Equate Compiler Directive in order to increase the readability of your assembler code. The Compiler Directive Equate is essentially a method to substitute text. The compiler does not understand the meaning of whatever you are trying to convey. It simply replaces the equated value when compiling. It's important to understand that some compilers might already have some of the reserved words and registers equated, but that will depend on the compiler that you use. As always, when working with Pixum IDE, ensure that you've got the correct microcontroller that you want to work with. You can uh, select the microcontroller by clicking on the model name next to microcontroller. This will then open up this window screen for you to select whichever PIC model you want to work with. And we are going to work with a PIC 16F627. Uh, so just click on that, it will change green. Click on the select and you will see that you now have that specific model name selected. Also remember that when you start your assembler program that you put your comment block in the beginning stating who you are, the title and some description of what this program is going to do. And uh, forget, don't forget to add these four lines of code as well. Um, in the beginning of your program before you start your code. As mentioned, Equate is simply a text replacement tool, which means that whatever I put on the left hand side of the Equate directive will be replaced with whatever is on the right hand side. So in this case, I'm adding port A Equate to 05, which is the um, register address location for port A. And whenever the compiler will see the word port A or the text port A, it will just literally replace that with the value hex 05 or with the text rather hex 05. This ensures that the code is a lot more readable and it also helps for debugging purposes. Without Equate, code is a little bit more difficult to read. Let me show you an example. If we don't use equate and want to move a value to port A, we would do something like this. Move W file, so whatever is in the uh, working register will be moved to a file. The file that we select is port A, but without equate, we need to put the register address of the file in there. So that would be hex 05. That's the normal way of doing things if we don't use equate. Now with equate, life becomes a little bit easier. We can now do the same thing, move WF, we can now, instead of using the memory address location, we can now just put in the port A. This increases readability, and if someone needs to check your code, it's easier for them to understand what you are trying to do as well. Now if we compile this, tools assemble, we should see an error, and this error shows us that there's a duplicate label. You'll remember that I've mentioned that some compilers already have reserved words in memory locations pre-equated. Now Pixum IDE is one of those and this simply tells you that port A is already known and it's already defined. You cannot have a duplicate equate. So if you see this error, duplicate label, it simply means that whatever is marked in red is already known to the compiler. In order to fix this, we need to remove the port A equate. And if we now compile this, or assemble this rather, we will see that there aren't any errors. Now it's important to understand that Equate does not know what you intend, which means that I can have some very weird things equated to numbers. Let me put something in here. Pink fluffy elephant. Now pink fluffy elephant, I'm going to equate that to x05. Uh, this essentially means that I can now uh, do something like this. Pink fluffy elephant. Oh, there's a spelling. Let's see what happens when I assemble this. No errors. The compiler does not know what your intentions are. It is going to take whatever is on the left hand side and it is going to substitute that with whatever is on the right hand side of this equate. 
So let's see if this compiles and let's see how this equate actually works. Uh, previously we've worked with location 20 hex as our variable location. Let's see if we can move data into location 20 hex by using pink fluffy elephant. Um, so we need to change this to location 20 hex. Um, we also, if we want to move stuff in there, let's change this to move literal to W. We can stick with a 5. So this command will move the value 5 into the working register. And right after that, the move WF command will move whatever is in the working register into file pink fluffy elephant. And if all goes well, we should see the value 5 inside of location 20 hex. Go to tools, assemble and load. All right, so we don't have anything in location 20 hex. Uh, go to tools, uh, breakpoint manager, yes. Uh, make sure that the rate is step by step, start the simulation. And we should be able to now step through this code. Let's see what happens. Move literal W5, we should see the value 5 in the working register. That's working. And if all goes well, we should see the value of 20 hex being replaced by 5. You can see there that the value was replaced. The 0 that was in there is now 5. So what the compiler did was it, as I've mentioned before, takes whatever is on the left hand side and substitutes that with whatever is on the right hand side. If you are done with your simulation, you can just close the breakpoints manager. Since all the registers and reserved words are already pre-equated in Pixum IDE, you might wonder where we will use this. Well, mostly it will be used to equate your variables that you are going to use. Now we've been using memory address x20 as our go-to variable address, but we can now change that. We can now create something that says temp variable, and we can then equate that to x20. If we now want to move data into location 20 hex, we use the text tempvar, which will increase our readability and will make a bit more sense the next time that we read through our text. So we can now do the following, move literal to W, and we want to move uh, the value 5 into the working register. Previously we would have done this, move WF x20, but since we are using the equate compiler directive, we can substitute this x20 with tempvar. Remember that the compiler will take whatever is on the left hand side and substitute that text with ever what is on the right hand side. So after the compiler is done with this code, tempvar will be substituted with the text x20. And then this code makes a lot of sense. Let's have a look and see how this simulates. Go to tool, assemble and load. The code is now loaded into Pixum IDE. Uh, we need to open our breakpoints manager in order for us to be able to step through the code. Yes, we want to load that. Uh, ensure that your rate is step by step. Go to simulation start. And if we now step through the code, we should see that the value 5 is moved into location 20. Simulation step value 5 is moved into the working register and there you can see that and then if we now step through that we should see the value 5 in location 20 hex and there you can see that it has moved into location 20 hex. After you've done your simulation you can just close the breakpoints manager window. In this video we've looked at the equate compiler directive and as mentioned previously the equate directive is literally just a text replacement tool taking whatever is on the left hand side and replacing that with whatever text is on the right hand side. Use this to make your code more readable and to make your code a lot easier to debug, especially if you have a third party checking your code.